I was a tool and die maker. I worked for a company called Wagner Engraving, and I was with them for 42 years. And I started as an apprentice for a five-year program, going to night school two or three of those years, and then learning on the job. And when I finished up, I was part owner in the company. So it was a it was a very interesting career. And in the latter part of my career, I was in sales, answering questions for people, uh, helping them get accomplish what they were trying to do. So. That's what I did for my livelihood, and I moved to uh, moved down here because of the lake. I was an avid fisherman, and I've hunted and did the outdoor stuff all my life. And I love fishing on bull shoals in Norfolk. So that's whenever I moved down here, and I bought a piece of ground out there on uh, mid the lake area called Yoakum Bend, and I built a, a house over there, and I could sit on the front porch and. Watch deer all day. There's a dozen or more in the front yard, and they just come and eat and wander around. And the lake is just a short walk away, and I could go down and fish anytime I wanted to. So I was out there for about 20 years. And then um, as I got older, I, I found out about the hospital because we were making a lot of trips over here to take care of medical situations. And I thought it'd be better if I moved to Mountain Home and got away from the lake since I wasn't hunting and fishing that much anymore. So that's what attracted me was basically the hospital. And I was very happy with the, the attention we got and the medical service that we got. And then I found out about the volunteer program. And uh, so I started investigating that. And after I found out a little bit about it and what they wanted you to do, I thought, well, this is something I could probably take care of and enjoy it. I've been patient in the hospital several times. Um, I had knee surgery, Dr. Knox, uh, I had a busted knee since I was 18 and playing football in high school and it had torn cartilage. So I put up with that for a long time and when I got down here it got to be too much to bear. And Dr. Knox said, well I have to put you a whole new knee in, so that's what they did. So I had that done and then later on I had to have a partial knee in this one, Dr. Knox took care of that. And both times I was in the hospital for about three days and I got very good care. Um, and when I left, um, they made sure that I got the physical therapy I needed and so forth. So, very successful uh, surgeries. And I've had to get, even come to the emergency room a few times. And uh, it's always been positive. Um, they'll answer your question, they'll treat you, they'll give you what you need. And they're there to take care of you if you have to come back to have something done. So, I've had good experiences with the hospital as, as a patient also. When I first started here, I, they gave me the uh, the ER lobby is my station. And it's kind of an interesting thing down there because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, you'd be sitting there, maybe nothing's going on. You're just sitting there visiting with the other volunteers and saying hello to the people that come in. And people come up and ask for directions. Many, many times at the information desk, that's what they're looking for, is how do I get to Dr. White's office or something along those lines. The biggest thing about it is that people are so happy when they come in and they're lost, they don't know how to find a place in the hospital and somebody don't give them a hassle about it, just take them where they need to go and get their questions answered. So they're very appreciative of that.